Namaste. Good morning. Today we have one sharing by uh, Ami Pai Ramanilalji. Uh, yeah, namaste. Ami Pai Ramanilalji, Namaste. Could you have a brief introduction and then you can place your sharing. So, uh, Dr. Ami Pai Ramanilalji, he is a retired professor, retired principal of an engineering college under the Gujarat Technical University. He attended the introductory workshop in 2015 at uh, Atmiya College. It was a five-day workshop in 2020. Uh, then USB 2 online in May 2024. Further USB 3 recently in Kanpur. Uh, that is face-to-face. -face. So in volunteering, Paya is a face-to-face -face USB uh, co-facilitator multiple times. Uh, he also takes care of this daily meeting attendance. He is a part of the translation team in Gujarati, coordination translation. Uh, he is also a post FTP feedback team member. He attends this online USB workshops as a panelist. And he is volunteering in the international USB conference also. So with this brief introduction, I welcome Dr. Ami Paramanilaji for his sharing in the morning session. Paya, now over to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Vaya. Thank you, Gopal Vaya. Thank you, all co explorers Namaste to all. Let me brief uh, introduce myself. I am Dr. Ami Paramanila, born and brought up uh, in a middle class family. My father was a farmer and mother was a housewife. We are five brothers and one sister. I am blessed with uh, two daughters. Elder one is uh, almost graduate and son-in-law has its own business. They settled in that court. The younger daughter is doctor, and son-in-law is IT engineer. They, they settled in Pune. Uh, I did my double graduation, master's and PhD in engineering, uh, made Baroda as my karma bhumi. For more than 20 years, I worked in r and Subsequently, switched over to academy, uh, and worked for 17 years. Uh, I worked with uh, Gujarat University and Gujarat Technological University, retired as an engineering college principal. My UHC journey was started in uh, 2015. I could envisage the potential depth in concept, but initially progress in the area of self-development was very slow. The process as I understood is mean for student because it was FTP, so it meant for student and societal improvements. And as a teacher, I should implement. I could apply for Im improvement for my students and also some of the societal issues. After about five years practice, I decided to refresh the same and did five days course in year 2020 and realize that it is to be done for self-development first. Did, uh, then did refresher course UHV2 in May 2024, and in July 2024, UHV3 at Kanpur. Presently, uh, doing uh, volunteerships, as will be I mentioned uh, in a lot of places, I firmly uh, believe that uh, it is to be percolated to penetrate at the idea uh, and implement from childhood or schooling. Uh, it is essentially literature should be in a regional language. And this is how I joined uh, uh, translation part. My inner journey is going on, and I firmly believe that it should be never ending process throughout the life to achieve new and new avenues. Of course, I am tiny creature for the subject, but it is my understanding. Now, moving to the exercise. Exercise one. Uh, step one. I am able to observe self by self towards my imagination, desire, thought, and expectation without reaction. Step two. After UHV, uh, with right understanding, unnecessary imagination, and wrong desires stopped by self-awareness of mutual acceptance about to think reality to remain neutral in turn 
in the state of harmony and happiness. Step three, harmony and happiness feelings. Before UHV, I used to be in a disharmony unknowingly due to wrong understanding based feeling, mainly thinking self-centered and body as self. Now I understood that self and body are two different entities in one unit, able to understand others' point of view also, and observing that other self may have their own priority, their own reasons, their, their own behavior, depend upon their reasons. Why should I create bad feeling and uh, disharmony inside me? The feel of opposition does not arise and harmony maintains and creates situation of happiness. Step four, I'm understanding that all the feelings decided by myself and I am 100% responsible for its outcome. Earlier, before UHV, situation and surrounding used to drive the feeling due to preconditioning and sensation and leads to a reaction. Now, started reading only necessary feelings and uh, ev started avoiding unnecessary sensing. With natural acceptance based right understanding, I'm either responding or ignoring the feelings. This keeps me cool and in harmony. Step six, I'm uh, practicing uh, natural acceptance based relationship, harmony and coexistence. Can't say achieved fully, but able to do it in a majority cases and improving through continuous practicing. 6b, I'm exploring within myself as happiness is in nature and able to understand relationship amongst my family, society, and nature as a whole. Also practicing to live in relationship and in harmony with all nature. Step seven, I'm able to understand relationship and harmony and trying to my best to understand coexistence in its completeness with all four levels, that is self, family, society, and nature. Understanding in, uh, is uh, deepened after UHA 3. Previously, for example, previously any insect or mosquito sensed on my body, I used to get irritated and feel of opposition, gets created and a reaction, and raises to kill. But now, with feel of relationship, I smoothly drive it away. This is what a difference I observed. Some of the practices which I did in the past, normally during discussion, I put my point, point of view through a proposal with showing that what to do rather than not to do. One example I would like to quote here with I experienced. One day one fellow was angry with me while overtaking him by vehicle on the road. He shouted at me, are you mad or are you going to die? I felt bad and feeling of opposition created inside me at immediate moment. But next moment, I realized it is my mistake. I was in hurry, but should not drive the way it may create problems to others. And to me also, the way I am in hurry, others also may have one or other their issues. Immediately cool down it myself, back to harmony, express sorry to him and proceeded. Now move to exercise two. Exercise two, step one. I am able to uh, conceive that self and body are two separate entities, two entities in one unit, and able to observe that I am in space as well as body also in space. Also, there is a space between self and body. So separation between self and body, I am able to observe. Exchange of information is occurring between self and body. No physical uh, connection or physical exchange uh, between self and body. 
I am able to observe also sensing uh, any external input from environment, any other cell, any physiocyte uh, chemical events sensed by the body, any sensation given to a cell, uh, any imagination within in the form of uh, information signal. Step three, self is a decided, self is decided whether to read the sensation and whether to respond or not. This is, I am able to see that decision is done by the self. One small example, one face-to-face -face course online meeting was going on. Body has given a sensation about the bladder is full. In consideration with the importance the important uh, discussion, self decided uh, not to read the sensation temporarily, ignore the sensation for small time, and uh, involved in the discussion. Step four: While reading the sensation, I am clear that I am neither sensation nor in the sensation. Independent to the sensation, I am independent to the sensation. I can read the sensation from any part of my body when I decide to read, and thus I am able to understand the difference between self and body. Step five, I mean, I'm interacting either with body or with outside the world by the way of sensation to read the sensation and to give the meaning of it. Uh, by And uh, decision is given by me. My reaction or response is based on my sanskar. Step six, when my decision is based on assumption, my assumed sanskar or preconditioning, I may react and my decision is based on understanding, I respond. Practicing to respond based on the right understanding, but sometimes missing and reacting due to some preconditioning or sanskar. Sometimes preconditioning and or sanskar drags to focus on a reaction. If it is process of it is a process of continuous improvement in this area and long way to go, that is what I feel. I am putting honest efforts. Some example of preconditioning. First time my preconditioning observed about my family in year 2020, which explained during its session. Subsequently, I could observe uh, in early 2023 and mid 2023, which also I explained in, uh, during ninth session. I am not repeating it that year. Working on improving uh, deep sanskar as and when it pops up with feeling of relationship and coexistence, but not to take decision on the basis of preconditioning. That is what, uh, my uh, internal decision. I am able to understand that those past situation is not the same. And preconditioning are, are based on past situations. Thus, now no irritation or no disturbance. Uh, there are some sensation-based sanskars that is what I am able to observe inside me. I am feeling sometimes it is pops up, but could not yet resolve. Need to work on it. And I am continuously working. Step 7. I am trying to understand or conceive that all pervading space exists. I am in the space, the body in the space, and both are coexistence in the space, but long way to go uh, to understand fully. In fact, UG3 has uh, deepened that understanding also. Now, conclusively, I am able to see uh, major part of the exercise one, seven steps till uh, some uh, more practices I am doing. And as far as the exercise, Two is concerned, I'm able to see clearly step number one to five. Step number six is still some practices needed. Step number seven also, some practices required. And at least I am clear about the happiness. Happiness, I understood that happiness is my innate nature. 
and uh, I am trying to be uh, developing myself first before uh, looking outwards. And I am trying to uh, get the happiness from inside only. As far as uh, my commitments are concerned, I am committed to work for UHV and already working as a volunteer. Uh, as uh, Sun Sunil Bay may mention, FDP face to face program is a co facilitator I did multiple times for UHV 1 and presently doing for UHV 2 also. English to Gujarati translation volunteership as well as coordination of the uh, region for a region language in Gujarati uh, in close association with Elagiti. Uh, panelist for online UHV course, part of uh, post FDP feedback analysis team, working as a volunteer for international uh, UHV conference, attending uh, various meetings including planning and RP uh, team development, attending morning session both in English and Hindi. As far as self exploration is concerned, I am trying to practice for full day, but. While in a busy schedule, it gets slip and continuous observation missing. Again, drawing back myself as soon as I recall it. Uh, so majority of time I am trying to do it, but uh, still uh, uh, I can't say for 24 hours, it's missed in between also. As far as social responsibility is concerned, trying to spread the idea about which we to resolve social issues of surrounding when I come across. My participation for UHV work, maybe I am doing about five hours per day. And I would say for me, that is a major job. Thank you. Now, uh, may I request Gobal Babu Paya for his comments regarding what is the sharing. Gobal Paya, over to you. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste, Bhaiya. I was uh, listening your sharing here. So very detailed sharing, and you have spoken for each step. What I would like to highlight here, some important point is because we all are going through these steps, and when we read these steps, we are very clearly articulating these steps while giving sharing. So this is good that we are uh, relating to our real life and articulating these steps, presenting sharing to each one of us. But some points I want to highlight here uh, that may help uh, for our growth for internal journey. First is we have to be aware that we are thinking of feeling, we are thinking of relationship or we are observing ourselves with the feeling of relationship. So this point we have to be clear in ourselves. We are thinking of relationship or we have a feeling of relationship and we are aware of this feeling of relationship. This difference we have to see in ourselves clearly. Number two, for example, when I say good morning, right? So when I say good morning, am I aware of this feeling of relationship in me while saying good morning? So this awareness should be in us. This will help. And ultimately this feeling, this awareness will ensure happiness in me. Second thing is, we are analyzing the outside environment or we are interacting outside environment with the feeling of relationship. For example, in case of putting towel in our place. So we are analyzing this thing that we should keep uh, that towel in proper place. Otherwise, the bed will get wet. Or we are able to observe feeling of relationship with rest of nature. And that towel is also part of nature. So I have to rightly utilize this. I have to put it 
in a right manner in right place so that i may use it for a long time so out of feeling of responsibility i am putting it in a proper place or i am analyzing the situation and that is motivating me to put it in a proper place so this we have to see in ourselves this awareness should be in ourselves similarly in many situation that the yes here so we have to observe this are we analyzing the situation or are we observing our feelings are we analyzing the sensual pleasure or are we becoming aware of meaning that we are associating with sensation so if we observe in this manner so definitely our growth will be more we will be in journey of this self in a deeper manner so this i have to say that we should be na uh, we should take difference of these two analyzing or feeling analyzing outside environment or i am having a feeling of relationship with outer side environment so this we have to observe i think if we take care of these points then definitely we will move inside in a better manner and once we move inside in a better manner it means once we move towards feeling in consciousness then our expression outside will be responsible and it will be a natural outcome for all of us so this i have to say you know in the yes sir rest are fine thank you bhaiya na keep it shamla didi namaste ji namaste ji yeah namaste namaste everyone very nice uh, ami para ji namaste didi very nice to hear i think you are making lot of effort and again you are one of our senior people who is putting in so much effort and at this age is still with so much zeal and energy that you are you know going forward on this and uh, i think that is uh, a very important part of anybody's journey that decision that making that decision part and seeing that this is what we need to do once that decision is made the time can be made and the effort can be put so i think you are doing lot of uh, you know work in this and uh, gopal ji and you know already has mentioned so i have not take much time i just wanted to say you know to congratulate you on the effort that you are doing and the journey within and all the best for the further onward uh, the work that you are doing and the exploration within just uh, one uh, thing that uh, caught my attention that i think i should mention that uh, when we say self and body they are two distinct entities and they are two distinct units also they are two separate units uh, that i think somewhere uh, didn't um, it came across as one unit uh, so i just wanted to clarify for everybody that uh, they are two separate units and um, the self is associating self as one unit is associating with the body which is another unit uh, so that i just wanted to clarify but i thought uh, very nice sharing all the best Best wishes to you.